Okay, so I'm going to start a new series of videos called Make Stuff with Paper Clips. So you know Paper Clips is a key item on MacGyver, uh, so I'm just going to see what kind of things can we build with Paper Clips. Now, it's not going to be just with Paper Clips. Paper Clips are going to be part of it. Uh, so today, I'm going to make a LED flashlight. And the Paper Clips are going to be for the, the on-off switch. Okay, so the first thing we need to know is about LEDs. So this is a red LED. Uh, it stands for light emitting diode. It's a solid state device. It's really amazing. Uh, when you run current through one way, it produces light. Um, these are super cheap too. Uh, and this is the red one. Now, another important thing about hooking up the red LED to a flash to a battery. Uh, the red LED takes... Uh, it requires about two volts, okay? So if I have a C size battery or a AA or a AAA, those are 1.5, 1.6 volts, that's not gonna work. So I would need two of them, okay? Um, and if you, have, if you have too much current going through the LED, it's bad, okay? So this particular one will be two volts at 20 milliamps. And so if I hook this up, to these two, three volts, and you're gonna get more than 20 milliamps, it's not gonna work, it's gonna break. Now there is one very simple way to hook these up, and that's with a button cell battery. So this is a three volt button cell battery, which is more than what I need, but it can only produce a very limited current because it's so small. So it can't go over the 20 milliamps, uh, and it won't, it won't destroy it. So the, the easiest way to just test one of these is to take this and so there's there's two sides there's two links and the longer one so that one's longer is the positive side so i'm going to put this on the positive side of this battery that's plus the other side's minus and then just hold it there and you can see it light up and there's your your super simple led flashlight um just like that so these are you want the three volt one they make different button cells, but it has to be three. And it has to be small or it will be too much current and it will burn out the LED. Okay, but that one works just fine. So we could use this as our power source. I'm gonna actually use this. So if I wanna use this, both of these batteries, then I need to add in to there a resistor. This is a 100 ohm resistor. I probably don't need a 100 ohm resistor. I think I could do 50 and it would still work, um, but this should work too. And I'm going to actually solder it in. Okay. So you don't have to solder because you could just use uh, something like this. Uh, one other thing, if you want to use a different color LEDs, they are different voltages. So if you want to use a white LED, those are more, I, I can't remember the exact voltage, but three or four volts. So it may not work. This I'm just using it with the, with the red volts, with the red LEDs. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is with our battery pack. How do you connect these to whatever we want? Uh, I'm going to actually use the holder here as my battery holder. So here I have a positive and a negative end of the battery, and for both of them, I want to have these connected in series like that. So I have 1.5, 1.5, the total would be 3. If you had it like that, it'd be 0 because it's 1.5 minus 1.5, that's bad. Okay, You could put them together like this, and you'd get uh, in parallel if you connected them this way, you'd still get 1.5, you just get greater current. I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is take this battery and put it like that. And then this battery, I'm gonna put in backwards. Now, I just need to run a wire from this end to that end, and I'm gonna use a paper clip. Now, I have to say something. I have these larger paper clips today. Uh, if you have a paper clip, you want to make sure it's metal right? So there are plastic paper clips, and there are paper clips that have a, a plastic coating around them. You don't want that. That won't work here. If you have that, you'd have to tear off the plastic or just get some other ones. So I'm going to, I bent this paper clip. I'm just going to bend it out of shape a little bit more, and I'm going to jam it in here. It doesn't have to be a perfect fit, but there. So now I have this side is positive, it goes down here, connects to that other positive, and that's negative. So I can use these two ends as my positive and negative voltage. And I could use a paper clip for that. So stick it right there. That's one. Actually, let me bend that. If you bend them a little bit, they, 
they jam in there better. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then, oh, that one's a little too jammy. That's fine. And this one, I'm gonna bend and jam it in there. So now these two spots are, where, are gonna be where I'm gonna connect my battery to. Okay, let's go ahead and um, connect the resistor to one end. And I'm gonna eventually solder this, but for right now, I'm just going to wrap this around. Let me take this out and twist it. And yes, this is not, you know, we're not doing uh, professional in electrical engineering here. I'm just doing simple stuff. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and if, it, if it's loose, that's fine. We'll fix that when we solder it. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna mount everything on this scrap piece of wood. So I'm gonna mount the batteries right here. I'm gonna mount the LED up here. And then I'm gonna put a switch to turn it on and off right there. And so let's make the switch. So here's my switch. I do need some wire. Where'd I put my, I hear some wire. We're gonna have to, to use a little, little bit of wire too. So what I'm gonna do is to take a paper clip and another paper clip like this. And I'm gonna use these as my switch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is connect both these to a wire. So I don't need a lot of wire. Um, I'm just gonna take this, I like the scissors on my knife. They will cut through this just fine. I don't need too much. I always get too much, but I guess too much is better than too little, huh? Okay, now I'm gonna strip both ends. Uh, so the rubber part on this needs to be removed. Uh, I can just slice through the outer part with my scissors if I cut, but not cut through the copper in the middle. And then kind of get, if once I get a little bit of handhold on there, I can just pull it off. It's rubber, it doesn't, see? I'm gonna do that same thing to the other end. Oh, let's see, that one I cut. Okay, that's fine. I cut it too far. I wanted to show you what not to do. We don't need to have too much plastic off of it, just a little bit there. Uh, they do make tools for this. Um, here's one. This is a wire stripper. So you just stick your wire in the, the hole that's the right size, that's actually a little bit too big, and pull. And then if you're gonna do a lot of this, you should get a wire stripper. But the knife has worked too. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap my wire around that. And I want it tight, but I'm going to solder that. Okay, so let's leave that there. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. I should have put a little bit more. Let's do this side. A little bit more wire, but we'll make do. If you can twist it, that's the best. Okay, so now I'm gonna solder those two. If you don't have a soldering iron, uh, you can tape it uh, with e any kind of tape, as long as it stays stationary. Uh, I'm gonna solder it because I have no idea why. I really don't have to, but it shouldn't be easy. So I have my soldering iron right here and it's already hot. So I'm just going to heat up the wire and you can't even see that. I don't even know why I'm, I'm doing this. I should have done it beforehand and add just a little bit of solder on there and this is not a very good job, but it, as long as it, it holds, it's fine. Okay, and then this one. Okay. Not perfect, but good enough. Now for the switch, what I'm going to do is take this right there. And put that one down and tape it down. Okay, now I'm gonna use electric tape, uh, but if you use duct tape, that works just fine. Uh, if you use uh, any kind of tape, as long as it's not metal, would work. Uh, this, this works really good because it's nice and rubbery. Uh, so I'm gonna tape that down. I'm gonna put another piece like this. 
So now what happens is when I push this down, I, I don't touch the other end of the, of the paper clip. Okay. So you can see what that looks like. Now I'm going to take this other paper clip, which is terribly done, and stick it right there. And now I'm going to tape it down, but I'm going to leave the top of this part untaped. So just one piece of tape should work. And I want it underneath that other paper clip. That's important. So there's my switch. So when I push this down, so right now the two wires are not connected, right? Because there's a piece of tape underneath them. But when I push this down, now the two paper clips are touching and it is a connected a connection. So this will turn the LED on and that leaves it off. Okay, so now we need to put our battery pack over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and solder this. Can you see that? So let's solder that. It's these bigger paper clips are harder to solder because they're they're more massive, so they take a lot more energy to heat up. So this is actually not doing a very good job. Let me do it down here. You want to heat up the metal, you don't want to heat up the solder, okay? But a little bit of solder can make a good thermal connection. I'm doing a terrible job here. Okay, there, I got it. So let's just let that heat up for a second. And then touch the solder. Come on. There, I got it. Okay, got it. Okay, now let's tape this down. Just get uh, some electric tape. And you can make this as fancy or as unfancy as you like. Uh, I'm making it quick. The nice, the thing I like about the electric tape is it's stretchy and that one actually didn't get enough tape. I like stretchy. because it stretches. If I can get it all the way around, that's gonna be the best. That's good. Okay, so now I need to connect these two things. I should solder these. Okay, now let's solder that real quick. It'll be easy because it's a thin wire. Ah, don't move. It's fun to solder. Um, make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area uh, because the fumes are not good for you. Uh, so stick that down in there. I got, so this goes from, if you'll notice, this is the minus side to the switch. And then the switch, I need to go to the minus side of the LED. So I'm going to take my LED and I'm going to take the short end and I'm going to connect it over here. Now be careful with the LEDs. If you heat them up too much when you're soldering, uh, you'll melt them. I mean, you won't melt them. You'll ruin them. So let's see if I can do this quick. That's quick, not perfect, but good enough. Now I just need one more wire. I need to go from the positive end of the LED to there. So let's cut another uh, bit of wire. That should be good enough. And I'll use my wire clippers because I don't want to take too long. Now I'm going to strip it. Now I'm going to strip the other end. Okay, so now I need to connect this end to my paper clip over here. And again, I'm going to have trouble soldering that, but let's just do the best we can. 
If I get it tight, it won't slide too much. Hopefully I can, that's not even tight. Okay. And you, you know, you guys know I'm not an engineer, right? Okay. So now I'm going to solder this together. Just trying to heat up the wire. See, I'm, I'm, it's going on the copper. It's not going on the paper clip because the, the paper clip's too big to get too hot. So it's not a very good solder joint, but it'll do. Okay, now I just need to connect the other end to the positive. This will be easier. And I'm not editing anything because, you know, if I just do this quick, then it's more realistic and I don't have to edit. And that makes me happy. There, that one, there that one goes. Okay. Now let's see if it works. Please work. I'll have to just put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push this down and see if it works and then we can tape up the wires and see if, if things are working. Check that out. Okay, so now let's just tape stuff up. I'm gonna tape the wire to the front. Now you, you wanna make sure that those two wires stay apart. So I'm going to just tape it down like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna just tape this other wire down so it's out of the way. Let's put it over here. And there we go. That's good enough. Flashlight with a switch. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. There you go. Paper clips. I really like the paper clip switch um, because it's an on off switch. As long as you're holding it, it's on when you let go, it's off. So, and you don't have to worry about getting shocked or anything like that because it's just three volts from two. Uh, C cell batteries and you could replace these with double A batteries or triple A batteries that work just fine. You could do D cell batteries. You could use this battery right here. Uh, but the key thing is the switch. So there you go. Hope you have fun building that one. Paperclip. Talk to you guys later.